I'm delighted to be here. Yeah. I want to talk about anticipation. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Um, That's that feeling that it's about to explode into the... Right? Yeah. (laughs) It's... um, I love the giddiness that comes with that, right? Just like I'm laughing myself wherever it is I'm going. And I wonder, is it always good? I mean, there's no downside to savoring anticipation if it feels good okay no downside okay great. a lot of people anticipate things they don't want it's called dread yeah don't <laughs> it's the same sort of thing on the other end of the stick isn't mm-hmm. it yeah mm-hmm. um i've really only become aware of you maybe seven eight months ago and i really didn't get active in doing anything with the information source took a while to really suck it to me so um, source isn't sucking anything to you. Well, to to get me the message, right? He kept sending clips to me, and eventually I was like, oh, okay. "Is it like that? It isn't yeah, like that. It's not. Well, it is in the sense that you're asking, yeah, and so your inner being is lining you up with the path of most allowance or the path of least resistance. A more accurate way of saying that is, I've been asking for things that I've been blocking. And rather than putting it outside of you, like somebody else is doing it to you, take responsibility for it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then my questions become, um, if there's no downside to anticipation. There's no downside to anything that feels feels good. good. Okay. You have to play with it a little bit to be able to differentiate, don't you? I do. That was a good conversation. Is it something you're wishing for or hoping for? Or something that you're really, really desiring. In other words, there's degrees of it, aren't there? There are. Yes. There are. I have a long list of heavy-duty things that I'm feeling a really good anticipation for. No. No? Not, not if they're heavy-duty. Really? If they're heavy-duty, if they're heavy Oh, okay. If, okay. Maybe my desire for them is intense, but they're not heavy things. I. What's intense? What's the feeling of intensity? Intense feels a little like, maybe, maybe if you mean intense in that way, or is intense, in other words, how do you mean intense? Give us more words. Okay. Can I get specific? Yeah. I so very much. But play with the word intense just a little bit for us. Intense? Because often when someone is intense, there often is resistance in that. Okay. This is a a swelling, right? There's this good feeling about these things that I want. And when I think about them, it feels fuller and fuller and fuller in a good way, where I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of receiving or um, enhancing whatever that desire is. Do you know what I mean? It's a good place to be, and anticipation is a good word for that. Okay. Our question is, how long has this been going on? Lightly for a year, intensely for four Because months. when you get there, <laughs> when you're there, it's very fast behind it. In other words, when you reach that place of anticipation, it's almost there. And that's why we're poking at you a little bit, because you're offering enough words to let us know that there's some resistance that you are not aware of. And that's my question, okay? Ask it. What's my blind spot with this? It's not a blind spot. It's a misunderstanding of how it feels to be in the flow. And being in the flow feels like ease. It's the difference between adventure and responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd say this is closer to adventure, but I think there's a financial component that is my resistance. Well, it doesn't matter what it is. Okay. You can sort that out. We offered a sort of tease mm-hmm. about the time that we we're talking about anticipation. And the tease is not a tease. It's a provocative thought. If we can get you to think about it, it could lead you into something more than what you could have anticipated before. And the idea of it is to think outside the box. And in order to clarify, inside the box, for most people, is what's already going on. How much money they have or leeway they have in their budget and where they live and what's going on with their body. In other words, what's inside the box is already manifested. And 
That's where most people live. They use words like you're using lots of words that sound outside the box but aren't. So just ponder that a little bit because outside the box is sure. Inside the box is more hopeful. What your objective is is to find ways to produce feelings that are just more sure, meaning that are just less troubled, that are more clear, less muddy, more pros and no cons, that sort of thing. And most of you, and we know it for sure about you, people who think a lot and people who are very good with their thoughts, people that other people say are really smart, people that are really intellectual, you are usually really in the box because you just don't let yourself get outside the box because that's just not logical and yet you got to get somewhere in a different vibration than where you've been if you want anything to change you just can't keep doing the same thing so you describe to us what you're reaching for and we'll guide you a little bit to see if we can find any vibrational improvement for you are you asking me to tell you about the thing it is that i desire or the feelings about it the subject describe it if you want to okay I am looking to make a purchase of several months worth of Disney Vacation Club contracts. I want to retire and spend four months of the year living at Disney World. I know it's possible. They like it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to play with you a little bit. Is that coming from a feeling of being tired of being responsible and just wanting to be playfully irresponsible? I so love Disney World. All and right. when I'm there, there's a peacefulness that I adore. Because it's outside the box. Okay. Hardly anybody lives there. You might be the first, but hardly. I know I'm not. <laughs> so when you think about that, so then we're going to just ask you a blunt and obvious question. Why don't you just go ahead and do that? Because they have other obligations and it's not responsible. Speak it in a way that more matches what's really going on. I, can't I do not it yet. have the finances to make the purchase comfortable. Say what? Me. I don't have the finances in place to make a purchase of that nature comfortable for me. See how this works? From that place of not feeling financially comfortably free to do as you please, you've decided to do something really, really fun. But there's a sort of circular log jam because you can't afford to do the thing that you want to do. And the reason you want to do it is so that you don't notice that you can't afford to do it. It's all just kind of murky, isn't it? It is. It is. I could so do it. But that means I'm not doing other things that I am responsible for. So. All right. So this is where you become less specific and more general. It'll help you to clear things up. So what is it about vacation and that particular place? See if you can find descriptions about that not the place, not the rides, not the fun, not the characters. We don't mean that. We mean the feeling of frivolousness, the feeling of just doing it because I want to, the feeling of being utterly irresponsible because I can be, the feeling of just asking the universe to do this nice thing for me, no strings attached. I'm doing it because I'm worthy, because I'm blessed. And most of all, and you pointed that out to us, I want to do it. I like to do it. Now, those are clean vibrations. So that's what you're reaching for in order to emphasize that, in order to get that vibration to a place that that can burst into your physical manifestation where you can witness it. Is there anything about your existing box that you live in we're not being disrespectful at all is there anything about that that also feels that way we're looking for easy existing matches mm -hmm. yeah other things that you do that yeah tell us yeah um my kids homeschool i get to be around them all day every day in a nice way i don't teach them they learn online so it's just um, an ease and flow in our daily routine where people get up when they want to get up. They eat breakfast. They set about their tasks in a nice way. And there's a lot of ease and comfort.
pronounced That's hello. really, really good. So I am already living this way. I'm already outside the yes. box. I'm already, I work I'm home. already doing the things that I mostly like to do. Mm-hmm. Now talk to us about working from home. What's that like? I love working from home because I love it because I'm in my own space. I don't have people. Um, it's harder to interrupt me in the flow of work. I do deep thinking work, and I need three or four hour stretches to do some of it. So working from home ensures that I I don't have people interrupting the flow of the creative work that I'm working on. Um, so would you say that that's quite responsible work? Yeah. And does yeah. it jive with being at Disney for four months at a time? It could. Talk to us about that. Make those blend. Blend those for us. It could. Working from home gives me the freedom and flexibility to be wherever I want at any time. I can work nearly any hours if I want to. I just have to be available to my coworkers. That means that I could work from a vacation spot so that I choose to. So you're telling us that you could work from anywhere. Mm-hmm. And that your children don't go to school. <laughs> and that you have resources coming because of your work. Mm-hmm. And we're wanting to understand what's keeping you from what you're talking about. Yeah, it's the financial component of it. I would have to pay for all those contracts that would enable me to do that. And that is... To buy them all at once is beyond my current financial ability, but everything else is in place. But what we're asking about is what is it that makes it have to be this big contract? Why can't it be we're just going to go for a week? Why can't you go to Disney and work from Disney for a week? I can. Why don't you? Because then I'm not in Disney. I'm at Disney. I'm, I would be in the hotel working and not out there enjoying. So there all is of a that thing freedom. of responsibility that's in your way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. In other words, something's keeping you from doing this yeah. because you've pointed at it and you've made it clear and your words sound good, but it's not happening. Right. And so you got to figure out what it is that you can do to get that thing that's tripping you up out of the way. And what's tripping most people up is a feeling of responsibility or a feeling of practicality. And mm-hmm. what it mostly is is an absence of understanding how the universe works. In other words, you're too involved in your business. That sounds weird, doesn't it? It does sound weird. <laughs> As you all listen to her, what part of her life do you believe the most? The part where she's working from home and it's very intense work and she has to really concentrate because she really has to think or the being at Disney and having a good time, which feels like it has the most weight in her life. Now, you've had the advantage of listening to the story and you know what she's doing, but we're asking you, is it possible to consider them equally possible and just pick one? had not given that consideration maybe yeah they haven't given it consideration Mm, either it sounds ridiculous (laughs) that you could just decide that you want something and just point at it and expect the universe to deliver you a path but that is how it works unless you've jammed the path up with feelings of responsibility you're the only one keeping the universe from just yielding that to you it never occurred to me that that could be a resistance. You know what I mean? That responsibility itself. That's what being inside the box is like. When you're in there, you don't even know you're doing it. And you're justifying all the good that comes to you through the hard work. In other words, you said some sort of telling words. It has to be quiet and you have to really think and it's a high level job and you have to really focus. And it's almost like what you're saying is, I want to be something that I'm unable to be. It's almost like you're saying, I can have fun or money but I can't have both that hurt (laughs) but I agree that's what your vibration is doing that's that tug of war if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next